what, I, what, what are, I mean, what, what would be some really wacky ones? <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? I mean, are there other... I mean, along the same lines of, the, of, of what we were talking about a few minutes ago about, you know, what, what about somebody who's read every Jewish, you know, Jewish writer ever? What would be some... Like, if, if you were to invent a set of alternate criteria, um, or if somebody was, what, what would they be? And would they, I mean, are there other fields of judging these kinds of things? I, I'm sure there are, but do you think they would mean anything in, like, for 200 years of Jewish history? Do you think, like, say, reading five or more Jewish-themed novels a year would mean much for maintaining a separate group identity um, over generations? Or, uh, or whatever out-of-the-box measures, do you think they would mean much? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I certainly don't want to argue too stringently that they would, but I, I wonder, you know, I just, I just wonder how else these things could be looked at. And, I, you know, I also think that um, from any fixed point in history, it's pretty hard to predict what the future is going to look like and what's going to be important in it, you know? Um, yeah. So... I, which you know, which is not to say that reading Hebrew is going to is going to turn out to be irrelevant or that intermarriage is going to turn out to be irrelevant, um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't I don't really have a an alternate vision. I guess. Um, what do you? What? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not. I wasn't going to say anything of anything. Here was <clears throat> here's another sentence from uh, Edward Shapiro um, that I wanted to bounce off you. In academia, there is not one black scholar apart from Julius Lester, a convert to Judaism, whose major field of interest is Jewish studies. You know, while converse, there are all these Jews studying various forms of black culture. What, what do you think about that? Um, well, for starters, I'd say it's not true. Um, I can't, you know, I think, I think that there are any number of black scholars that I have read or that I'm personally acquainted with who are, you know, very interested in... Um, Perhaps not in the way that he would be looking for, but I would I would say for, you know look for instance at Cornell West and uh, Higginbotham's book about blacks and Jews, or um, you know the work of uh, I mean I mean pretty much pretty much every every black scholar I can think of is is pretty well versed in Judaism and in black Jewish relations. I mean I do a, a talk with Bakari Kitwana sometimes about blacks and Jews, um, and you know I think I think that. I wonder. I wonder in what way Shapiro is looking for, um, you know, how, how he's defining an interest in in, in Judaism. Um, I think there have been any number of works um, that that look particularly at relations between the two communities. Um, is I mean, what, what do you think his his criteria is? Well, I think he's saying Jewish studies. So, meaning right. the specific department of Jewish studies. So yeah. The well, I guess that like, yeah. Yeah. Um, my, que my first question would be, how possible or plausible is it to be a black scholar and get a job in Jewish studies? Is that, is that, a, is that a career path that you think makes any sense? I've the, never heard of... The, the hard, you know, just the hard facts of can you get a job? Because, I mean, folks coming out of PhD programs are, you know are hard-pressed to get jobs. You know, I mean, I've got tons of friends who are coming out and having to ask whether they're willing to move to Kansas to work. Um, right. You know what I mean? And I, I, really wonder, I really wonder about the feasibility of being a black scholar in Jewish studies and, and getting a job and getting tenure and being at a university. I think there would be tremendous, I think it would be a tremendously difficult path to take as a career. Do you think there'd be more advantages or disadvantages to being a black scholar with, say, a PhD in medieval Jewish literature um, to getting tenure in Jewish studies? Um, I mean, it's, I, w I would think that it would be a disadvantage. I think there'd be enough resistance to it, um, whether, whether sort of spoken or unspoken, that it would be tough. Um, and and it, that may fly in the face of, of what one might assume about uh, universities looking for diversity, but I think that um, I think it would be, I would think it would be very hard. I think that I think that um, yeah, that, that, that's my opinion. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I, I would tend to have the opposite view, but I, I don't really have any knowledge. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean this is highly speculative, of course. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, but I, but I, I do think I mean to, to to widen the lens a little bit. I what I see. 
is um is folks you know i i i'm thirty two so I see a lot of people of my generation either in the middle of getting their degrees or sort of coming out of the academy and looking around for work or or going back and deciding what their focus is going to be and I think that um people are savvy enough in the academy to study things that they think they're going to be able to to work in um which is partly why so many people are doing hip hop related stuff now because there's a real appetite for it coming out of school if you're a young black scholar um doing hip hop stuff is going to be an easier path to a job largely because of identity politics um and the fact that you know within that field black is a is 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 a is a signifier of authenticity um than anything else you know i also know plenty of uh you know white scholars who are working in fields like black studies or you know american studies with a focus on african american literature or whatever and um you know i think identity politics in the academy are really uh still a major issue in a lot of fields and i think that the 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 climb for a black scholar into a jewish studies department um would be significant especially I don't know how many schools have Jewish studies departments and what percentage of those schools are in themselves predominantly Jewish. Um, it'd be interesting to look at that. Um, but, yeah, I, I, really, I really think that um, part of, of what Shapiro was talking about might be truly be traceable to, um, first, just the practical realities of life in the academy, and second, um, you know, the question of why a black scholar would want to exclusively focus on Jewish studies without crossing that over with an area like black Jewish relations, um, you know, it, I think that when scholarly work becomes so divorced from one's own experience and one's own perspective, um, it, can, it, has, it runs the risk of becoming esoteric, it runs the risk of becoming irrelevant, and I think that the struggle for black academics to get a foothold in academia has been so profound and in many ways is so connected, much more connected than other groups to a sense of what does this mean, what does this translate into practically, how does my work translate into something of, you know, quantifiable significance, um, that to study something utterly esoteric um, is it is a bold move that would have political and and professional like repercussions in some ways um the scholars i know who are black who who do stuff that's totally unconnected in any way to blackness are constantly having to answer for it a good friend of mine is at the yale divinity school and he is you know his work is on kant and erasmus and he's constantly having to struggle to explain why you know a 38 year old black man is studying those things <laughs> as opposed to something else you know yes um, yeah, I want to bounce one more sentence off you. Jews needed blacks to authenticate their image of themselves as liberals, but blacks did not need Jews to authenticate their image of themselves as blacks. What do you think of that? Um, blacks did not Jews. Well, I, is this Shapiro again? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the, 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 the parallelism of that statement, or ra rather the lack of it, is, is the first thing that sort of strikes me, even beyond the, the argument being made. Um, you know, the equation of Jewish to liberal versus the equation of black to black, at first glance anyway, doesn't really appear to make much sense, um, if, if that is in fact sort of an attempt at a parallelism. Um, but, you know, I think that... Um, I think the interplay is a lot more complicated than that. Um, you know, from from Al Jolson singing in blackface to um, to 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 more recent stuff like the number of Jewish rap artists who have relied on the authenticating presence of black producers or collaborators for their work. Um, I think that you know these, these terms are are much more mutable. Than they appear, you know, um, and I think that authentication of blackness, authentication of liberalism, these things cannot really be separated from each other. Um, Bernard Malamud's novel *The Tenants*, I think, is actually a great example of this, which is about a black and a Jewish writer and the relationship that they have in the '70s at sort of a black power moment in New York when they're both.